Egypt's president, explaining this week why Egypt takes a different approach to human rights than some other countries. We are keen on the rule of law and to be a state that respects its people and respects their freedom of rights. I urge not to separate that from what is going on in the region. The region we live in is troubled, and the European standards, which are the highest in the level of development, can never be measured in the region's countries, including Egypt. Criticism of Egypt's record on human rights has mounted since El Sisi seized power in July 2013. In recent weeks, the suspicious death in Cairo of Italian student Giulio Regini has raised the pressure. But El Sisi is determined to improve security, and there has been a frosty response to Ban's comments. In a statement, the foreign ministry says Ban is trying to intimidate Egypt's judiciary and that Egypt's courts are independent. Local activists share Ban's concerns. Some activists had their assets frozen without going through investigations first, so these are illegal proceedings. Others were banned from travel to attend international conferences abroad on the claims that they are involved in this case. A ban from travel must be issued by a judicial order. This is non-existent. Following the toppling of Hosni Mubarak in 2011, authorities brought in tough new laws for NGOs. Some in government suspected that they are funded by foreign powers to destabilize Egypt. International pressure is mounting on Egypt to loosen its grip on NGOs and rights organizations. The parliament has not yet reviewed laws that govern foreign funding. But it could be a critical step if Egypt is to regain goodwill from its allies. Aydel Mahroui, CCTV, Cairo.